So, the thing is, the last bloke got himself deported and the fellow before that stole the take-ins, as well as three bags of burger buns. So, my mum says, I decided that I should interview people. Is that a CV? It's a folder. I seen someone on television have an interview and they had a folder. <sighs> right. Cos if it was a CV, you'd be overqualified. <laughs> right, I've Googled some questions off the internet, so, um, I don't know, just say stuff. So, name? Tom McNair. And whereabouts you live in? Uh, Dad, Dad, he's back! The one I told you about. Um, just outside Barry. Ask him if he's gonna steal stuff. I'm not asking him that, ma'am. Ask him! Are you gonna steal stuff? Might be copper wire in there. Iron, maybe. Stuff we can sell. Do it's cause a distraction? Of course not. He says no! Here's a good one. Um, Employment history. Ma'am, I'm asking him about his employment history. Uh, a bit of all sorts, really, like fruit picking, labouring. There's another reason we live like this. You kill vampires. Mm -hmm. It's our calling. It's our task. We are soldiers. Factory work, grave digging, leafleting. Well, um, any medical conditions? <laughs> nope. It's a butcher's dog, me. What about women? We don't want some tarp coming in and distracting him. She was pretty, though, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. We do not judge women by their looks. I'm a bachelor. Have you got any hobbies, leisure activities that one might pursue? Uh, I enjoy arts and crafts. A whittle? Well, who doesn't? But I caught one chap doing it in the ladder, so whittle at home, eh? All right, what other skills can you bring to this post-slash-occupation? Right. I'm good in a tight spot. Dad! Um, I'm used to working with my hands. <laughs> Tom! <Yeah. laughs> well, because I'll be honest with you, this is Cardiff and not Dibley, and Friday nights can get a bit rowdy, so it'd be handy if you were a bit... handy. <laughs> I can work on that. Have you got a family around here, then? Just me. Right, well, uh, congratulations, Mr. McNair. Welcome to the cafe on the corner. Now then, I'll take you through some brief orientation that resolves us of any corporate responsibility in the event of a death. Right, oh, brilliant. Sorry about all the daft questions and that, but we got to weed out all the thieves and loonies. That's all right. I have got one question, though. You know the oil that you use for the cooking and that? What do you do with it afterwards? The oil? Just get rid of it. Right, so you don't save it or out like that. OK, good. Sorry, I know it sounds a bit weird. What it is, is you can make bombs using that oil. It's a right faff, but I'm quite good at it now. Kitchen through here, is it? 